We all have the responsibility and obligation to offer up our body and heart for the accomplishment of God's commission, because our whole being comes from God and exists because of God's sovereignty. If our body and heart are not for God's commission and not for the just cause of mankind, then our soul will be ashamed to face those who are martyred for God's commission and will be even more ashamed to face God who provides us with everything. Did you both listen to the Eastern Lightning preaching? Yes. Liu Yun, was your cousin the one who came to deceive you? Why didn't you report it earlier? This time, if Sister Gu didn't report it in time, you'd probably been devoured by the Eastern Lightning. <sighs> I really thank the Lord for His mercy. May the Lord forgive you. How is Sister Liu? Oh, everyone is here. Hi, sister. Please, have a seat. Thank the Lord, Sister Liu. If it were not for the Lord's care and keeping, you too would have been devoured. For the sake of defending the Lord's way, we should stand up to give a testimony. Now. The Eastern Lightning is very rampant. People in the churches continue to be deceived. This time, you should talk about how you were deceived, and how the people of the Eastern Lightning enticed, threatened, and frightened you. Okay. For the sake of defending the Lord's way, we're willing to give a testimony. Thank the Lord. But they didn't entice me or threaten and frighten me. They just expounded the Bible to us. What they said was reasonable indeed. Other than preaching to us, they treated us with good food. Although I didn't believe them, I can't bear a false testimony. The Lord teaches us not to do that. Sister, you're wrong. That is because their time hasn't come. If you still don't reject your cousin, your legs may be broken. At that time, you'll regret. Your giving the testimony is also for the flock in the church. Yes, right. For the sake of defending the Lord's way, I'll do it. Hmm. I won't believe in theirs, but the Lord taught us. But let your communication be, yes, yes, no, no. I have nothing to testify. Pastor Chen, we found out that those who came to our church to snatch people are Liu Yun's cousin Wu Min and Sister Chen's niece Jiang Ming. They're both hardcore Eastern Lightning. Sister Hao, go to Sister Chen's quickly. Check how many times Jiang Ming has been there. All right. The brothers and sisters are small in stature. We must keep a close eye on them. If we catch those people, we can't let them off lightly.
sister Chen. Now, the Eastern Lightning is very rampant. Our church co-worker, Liu Yin's cousin, is a member of the Eastern Lightning. She nearly drew Liu Yin away. Our pastor Chen went to sustain her personally. Really? Of course. If your niece comes again, you mustn't be easy on her. I know. Last time she came, I gave her a cold shoulder, and she left in dejection. I think she won't come again. Well done. Thank the Lord. Uncle, is Auntie at home? Yes. Xiao Ming is here. Come. Come in and have a seat. Auntie. Come, sit there. Auntie, I'm here to see you and Uncle. Did you come to preach the Eastern Lightning again? Your mom has come several times. It's no use. Don't think of deceiving me. If you came to do that, I don't welcome you. Get out now! Hey, how can you be like this? She hasn't stopped by in a long time. Can't she drop in? It's already dark. Where can she go? Huh. What a shame for you to be a believer in the Lord. Well, you're Sister Chen's niece. I heard from your aunt that you're a gospel preacher and very eloquent. I just do my utmost to preach the gospel, and I'm far from being eloquent. It's a good thing to preach the gospel, but you should preach to the unbelievers. They don't believe the Lord exists, while we're believers in the Lord. You Eastern Lightning come to our church to snatch people. Aren't you stealing sheep? Sister, we're not stealing sheep. We believers in the Lord all know that the Lord Jesus will come again. Aren't all the brothers and sisters who believe in the Lord looking forward to this day? When the Lord comes, He'll do the uniting work, uniting all denominations into one. Now we're preaching the gospel that the Lord has returned in the end time, so all those waiting for the Lord's coming back can return before the Lord and accept God's new work. How can it be stealing sheep? You're young but quite good at deceiving others. Even if you speak well, it's heresy. What end-time gospel? You just came to steal sheep. Let me tell you. The brothers and sisters here were all brought in by us. What qualifies you to preach to them secretly? They're all ours. Don't you know that? We won't allow you to snatch from our church. Sister, the believers in God only belong to God. The brothers and sisters are all believers in God. How can they belong to any man? Even if we were their pastors, we can't deprive them of the right to investigate the true way and choose the true way. Today, God has done a new work. We all should have a humble and seeking heart and quiet down to investigate. Don't blindly jump to conclusions, much less restrict or control others from listening to the preaching. If we don't give them the right to investigate freely, aren't we standing in a wrong position? Oh, you teaching me? You're cultists. You believers in Almighty God are robbers, devils, and Satans. If it weren't for your aunt's sake, I would tear up your mouth and break your legs and make you crawl out of here. You see? Brother Liu loves the Lord very much. A preacher of Almighty God came to his house. Without hesitation, he broke the man's bike. The next day, the man came again, and he beat him with a stick. On the third day he came, he drove him out by pouring feces on him. You can't show mercy. Never be soft on these people who preach the heresy and the cult. Sister, you can abuse me, but you can't condemn or blaspheme God. Blasphemy against the Holy Spirit shall not be forgiven, neither in this world nor the world to come. Besides, we're all believers in God, but you treat us like this. Does it accord to the Lord's teachings? To you believers in Almighty God, we'll only curse you. You all go to hell. Who are you? How dare you scold my niece in my home? You believing in the Lord? Get out! Get out now! <laughs> Out! Hey, Auntie. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I curse you, Satan the devil.
This is my cousin's. Hmm. Who is that? It's me. Oh, coming. Cousin. You're here. Hello, sister. Hello. Come in and have a seat. You Satans and devils again. Today I'll... Hey, sister. <coughs> sister, <coughs> what are you doing? <coughs> go away. From now on, don't come to deceive me. Jesus comes to save go, us. Go, go, go. Listen to his way. Go. Auntie. Go. This is the true way. Every co-worker, thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Today, Miss Tong just got back from preaching in Singapore. After she came back, she saw that the believers in churches are frequently deceived by the Eastern Lightning. So she's very worried about the life of the brothers and sisters in our church. As co-workers, we must guard the flock well for the Lord and mustn't let the people of the Eastern Lightning snatch them away. Right. right. Once we find the deceived one, if he doesn't turn back after our persuasion, we'll expel him. Right. The day before yesterday, I met Jiang Ming at Sister Chen's. She was really eloquent, and her words sounded plausible. Yesterday, I was at Liu Yun's, and Jiang Ming came again with others. I drove them out. It seems that they've determined to snatch people in our church. Sister Liu, you should specially be careful of your cousin and stay away from her. Once you touch her evil chi, you'll probably be devoured. On this matter, you must be faithful to the Lord. We're the workers in the church and enjoy most grace from the Lord. We must put more effort in preaching against the Eastern Lightning and print and distribute more booklets of guarding against the Eastern Lightning. We've given out the booklets many times, and almost in every meeting we preach against the Eastern Lightning. The brothers and sisters are frightened. They say the Lord is so powerful, why does He seem weaker than the Eastern Lightning? So many brothers and sisters believing in the Lord have been drawn away by the Eastern Lightning. It's no use frightening the brothers and sisters. Thank the Lord. We just want to make the brothers and sisters really scared. Yes. Oh. Otherwise, they won't reject the Eastern Lightning. Yes. Right. The people of the Eastern Lightning are professionally trained, and they specially come to steal our sheep under the banner of believing in God. They're very familiar with the Bible, and their preaching is high. They say that the Lord has come back, the age has changed, and God's name has changed and is called Almighty God. This is the Eastern Lightning. Oh, Once yes. a person listens to their preaching, he will be deceived. If you join, you can't leave. Now, co-workers across the country are deceived from time to time. They have been preachers for years. Hmm. Just because they disobeyed the church's arrangements and listened to the messages of the Eastern Lightning in secret, they were deceived. Even the co-workers are deceived. So the ordinary brothers and sisters will surely fail to refute them. Right. Right. So, anyway, we mustn't allow the brothers and sisters to receive them. Yes. 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 Sister Gu, have you thought over how to give testimony? Pastor Chan, Tell me what I should do, and I'll listen to you. How about using the stories in the booklet as your own? Okay. Hmm. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. This isn't right. My cousin and them didn't treat us like that. If we do this, aren't we acting against the Lord's teaching? Sister Liu, we say like this to protect the brothers and sisters in the church. Otherwise, what can we do if they draw away all the believers? Don't be so stubborn. Right. The brothers and sisters are very weak now. When it's time for meeting, we have to call them. Even though they come, they don't pay attention and always doze off. Yeah. Moreover, the offerings we collect are less and less. 
so we must keep a close eye on these brothers and sisters. Right. If there are fewer people, the money will be less and less, and we'll lack funds to develop the church. Yeah. 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 Brothers and sisters, all present here today are the leading sheep of the church, and are the Lord's servants. At this most crucial moment, we must guard the church and protect the brothers and sisters. If they are drawn away by the eastern lightning, who will we preach to? Right, right, right. From now on, if we find strangers preaching, we must inform the church promptly. If we catch them, we can never let them off. Hello, sister. Cousin, I brought the sister today to let her fellowship with you again. Why have you come again? Forget it. Just go back. Please listen. Go away. Cousin! As to what to do in the future, this is man's own business. In everything you should enter in from the positive side and can't wait passively. Only thus can you be gained by God. Okay, I stop here. Let's fellowship about our gospel work according to God's words. Recently, the gospel work can't be spread. What do you think about it? Are you passive? A little bit. The religious pastors bind the church too tightly. Oh. Recently, my aunt even didn't allow me in her door. Yeah, even denying relatives. My cousin didn't allow me to talk about believing in God. Oh, encountering such an environment, we can't lose heart. We should seek God's will first. Outwardly, the religious leaders frenziedly resist Almighty God's work. And it seems that God's work is greatly hindered. However, there is God's will in it. Before we had the notion that they've undergone many sufferings and done much work for the Lord, that they are ones who sincerely serve the Lord, and so we should preach the gospel to them. Now, through the revelation, we see clearly that they suffer for their reputation, position, and fleshly enjoyment. When the true God comes to work, to preserve their reputation and position, they bind the brothers and sisters, prevent them from accepting the true way, mm. and even make up lies to frame the church of Almighty God. Through their doings, we have gained some discernment, seen through their true face of hating the truth and being against the true God, and seen clearly that they aren't devout believers in God at all. Hmm, yes. They're the same as the chief priests who entice Judas to betray the Lord. They don't hmm. accept the true way, but hinder others from following the true God. They're simply living demons that devour men's souls. Now we have no more fantasy for them. God helped us gain discernment through the experience. Yes, through their performance, the believers in the religion are also revealed. Those that believe foolishly and adore man are deceived by them and follow them to resist God. Some believers who can accept the truth begin to get tired of the Antichrist's lies, regulations, and doctrines, and seek the working of the Holy Spirit. God has His time. This little setback lets us see our fragility and see that our faith is too little and that we still don't know how to truly rely on God. This environment can help us learn to rely on God. As long as we have faith to cooperate with God, we'll see the spreading of the gospel work. This is because the working of the Holy Spirit decides everything and no hostile force can hinder God's work. Hmm. Let's read a passage of God's words. God is sovereign over the destiny of all mankind. The second to last paragraph. Sister Jiang, please read it. Okay. God's almightiness cannot be fathomed by anyone. In China, a nation which regards God as its enemy God has never stopped his work. 
but instead has gained more people to accept his work and word, because God saves every one of mankind to the utmost. We all believe that the thing God will accomplish cannot be hindered by any nation or any force. Okay, stop here. Brothers and sisters, from God's words, we see God's disposition and the authority and power of God's word. We believe that the thing God will accomplish cannot be hindered by any force. We all have some experiences and knowledge in this aspect. We know how difficult it is for God to work in China, this atheistic nation. Mm. The government and religious world condemn and blaspheme God. But God never stops his work of saving man, and more and more people accept his work. This is God's great power. Let's think back to our past experiences. Although the gospel work moved on with difficulty in every place, as long as we could care for God's will and be willing to suffer and pay the price and cooperate with God practically, God blessed us. Now it is the time that we should have faith to cooperate with God as long as we truly rely on God. I believe that God will make a way out for us. Hmm. I'm willing to cooperate. Hmm. I've believed in God for many years and read many of God's words. However, today I couldn't testify God's name, and I really failed God's commission. God searches man's heart. As long as we genuinely cooperate with God, God will make a way out for us. Hmm. hmm. Let's pray together. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Sister okay. Zhang, would you pray? Hmm. Okay. Oh, Almighty God, although I'm weak and feeble, I know that your work is done by you yourself, and no one can hinder your work. Amen. Amen. When your gospel is spread, we gain glory with you. We are encouraged by your wonderful deeds. Amen. Amen. However, often when we can't do our utmost to spread your work because of our weakness, you endure humiliations with us. Amen. Amen. Oh God, we are willing to cooperate with you and endure humiliations and gain glory with you. Amen. Amen. All the glory be to the true Almighty God. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, peace to you in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Let's open the Bible. Mark 13, 21 to 23. It is written, And then if any man shall say to you, See, here is Christ, or see, he is there. Believe him not, for false Christs and false prophets shall rise, and shall show signs and wonders, to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. But take you heed, behold, I have foretold you all things. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus clearly told us in the Bible that false Christs would appear in the end time. So we must watch and pray and be cautious. From now on, if someone preaches that the Lord Jesus has come back, this is a false Christ. Yes. yes. Especially the Eastern Lightning. This sect is very powerful. They preach everywhere that the Lord Jesus has returned that it is not the age of the grace now. Jesus' name has passed, and now he is called Almighty God. It is really groundless. These people believe in the Lord, but dare deny the name of the Lord Jesus. They are purely heresy, cult, and exactly the deceivers that appear in the end time. Brothers and sisters, you should never touch the book of the Eastern Lightning, in which there is a magic drug. If you read it, you'll be deceived. Therefore, 
the brothers and sisters in our church should hold on to the name of Jesus forever. Amen. And exalt Amen. the name of Jesus forever. Amen. Amen. Only if we follow Jesus can we enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank the Lord. That's all for today's sermon. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's bow our heads and pray to the Lord silently. Next, I'm going to announce the church news. Not long ago, two sisters in our church contacted the Eastern Lightning. They were nearly deceived. Thank the Lord for keeping them so that they could come back safely. Well, next, Sister Gu and Sister Liu will give testimony for the Lord. Dear brothers and sisters, peace to you in the Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, this time I came into contact with the Eastern Lightning. Thanks to the Lord, I returned alive to testify to you. The Eastern Lightning is indeed a cult, a heresy. They deviate from the Bible. Due to the Lord's keeping, I reacted quickly. Otherwise, I would have been deceived by them and betrayed the Lord. You know, they locked me in a dark room. I prayed to the Lord, asking the Lord to keep me. So no matter what they said, I didn't accept. To my surprise, they used two young men to entice me. Oh, they're terrible. Oh, the Eastern Lightning's awful. What Sister Goo says is not true. The believers of the Eastern Lightning didn't treat us like that. All this is her concoction. She says so for the church's flock. If you don't accept it, they'll cut off your ears and gouge out your eyes. <gasps> oh. Later, I found an opportunity to escape. Otherwise, my legs would have been broken. Oh, oh just horrible. Terrible. Just horrible. I really thank the Lord for his keeping. Brothers and sisters, you should never contact the Eastern Lightning. The Eastern Lightning is indeed a cult, a heresy. We must keep a lookout for it. or else we really can't be saved. Thank the Lord for giving me strength so that I could come back safely. Amen. Glory be to the Lord. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, that is Sister Gu's personal experience. This time she and Sister Liu could escape. It's totally out of the Lord's care and keeping. Amen. Amen. The Eastern Lightning is an underground organization. They have knives and guns. Oh. Their means are brutal. If you don't accept their way, they'll cut off your ears, gouge out your eyes, and cut your hamstrings. You must guard against strangers and attend every meeting. Otherwise, the Lord won't keep you. To prevent the people of the Eastern Lightning from snatching believers in our church, the co-workers have worked out seven stipulations. Brothers and sisters, please look at the whiteboard. First, don't receive believers in the Lord from other places, especially people of the Eastern Lightning. Even if they are relatives, friends, or acquaintances, if they believe in the Eastern Lightning, don't receive them. Second, don't listen to the preaching of people from other sects, especially that of people from the Eastern Lightning. Third, don't read their books, nor pray together with them. Fourth, whoever finds someone receiving people of the Eastern Lightning should report to the church in time 
or directly call the police. Fifth, if you meet the people of the Eastern Lightning on the road, don't talk to them. Curse them! Sixth, those who want to go out for several days should report to the co-workers. Otherwise, we won't receive them after they come back. Seventh, as to strangers who come to have a meeting, we must check their identity thoroughly. Brothers and sisters, after going back, you must carry out these seven stipulations strictly and never be careless. Yes. yes. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Our sister Chen did very well. Her niece Jiang Ming has been to her house to preach the Eastern Lightning many times, but she was refused and driven out. We see that Sister Chen has a heart of loving the Lord. She can hold fast to the Lord's way and doesn't betray the Lord. And she makes a clear break with her niece and shares no part in her evil deeds. She's a good child of the Lord. When the Lord Jesus comes again, he will take people like her into the kingdom of heaven. Brothers and sisters, now we must intensify the resistance to the Eastern Lightning and curse all those who preach the Eastern Lightning. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, you must carry out the seven stipulations strictly after going back and never be careless. Amen. Amen. Moved and led by God, Jiang Ming and the two sisters preached the gospel to the local major co-worker Lu Yuan again and again. In the beginning, she refused to accept and shut the door on them time and again. Gradually, facing their perseverance and their tolerance and patience to her, Lu Yuan began to examine herself inwardly. Why are they so enthusiastic? Why do they have such love and patience? What's their purpose in doing so? I treated them in such a way. Do I have humanity? Lu Yuan was moved by such a great love from God. So she decided to investigate the true way. After listening to the fellowship and testimony of Jiang Ming and the others, and carefully reading God's word for some time, Lu Yuan was finally certain that Almighty God is the appearing of the true God. She readily accepted Almighty God's end-time gospel. Enjoying the watering and supply of Almighty God's word of life, Lu Yuan even more regretted her previous resistance and disobedience. In particular, she thought that now many brothers and sisters, like the previous her, were still deceived and bound by the rumors and lies of religious leaders, and thus refused and resisted God's work. So she made a resolution that she would try her best to cooperate with God, to bring before God those brothers and sisters who still anxiously waited for the returned Savior in the darkness, and she actively joined in preaching the gospel. Under God's leading, very soon, Lu Yuan summoned over 20 brothers and sisters to listen to God's end-time gospel testimony. Brothers and sisters, peace to you in the Lord. Amen. They're the preachers I invited. They have served the Lord for years and preach very well. So, today, I specially invited them to give us a sermon. Good. 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 Brothers and sisters, peace to you in the Lord. Amen. Thank the Lord for preparing such a good opportunity for us so that we can gather here to have a fellowship. Let's cherish this wonderful time. 
May we receive more blessings from God in the limited time. Brothers and sisters, after we believed in the Lord Jesus, we began to pray in the name of Jesus and heal the sick and drive out demons in the name of Jesus. Due to the name of the Lord Jesus, we've received peace and blessings and even more received numerous grace. So, the name of the Lord Jesus has been deeply engraved in our heart, and we treasure the name of the Lord Jesus very much. As the people of Israel treasured Jehovah's name, God's name is very important to each of us believers in God. Therefore, today I'll share with you a topic, God's name. May God personally inspire and lead us so that we can understand the truth of this aspect. Before we fellowship about this topic, let me ask you a question. Did God have a name in the beginning? No. 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 Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Hey, yes. Genesis 2-4 records that Jehovah is God's name. Yeah. 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 Yes. 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 Yeah. yes. Brothers and sisters, are you sure that God's name was Jehovah in the beginning? Let's turn the Bible to Exodus 3.13-15. through 15. It records that when God called Moses to lead Israelites out of Egypt, God had a conversation with Moses. And Moses said to God, Behold, when I come to the children of Israel, and shall say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said moreover to Moses, Thus shall you say to the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob, has sent me to you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Let's give the glory to the Lamb on the throne. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, please stand up. Let's pray to the Lord together. Jesus Christ, who loves us forever, we offer to you our thanks and praises. Amen. Amen. Thank you for guiding us, brothers and sisters, to worship and pray to you together today. Amen. 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 O oh Lord, may your Spirit fill this room so that we can be moved by your Holy Spirit and receive the life supply in your word. Amen. Amen. May you guide our meeting and bless today's sermon. Amen. Amen. O oh Lord, in today's meeting, we're willing to receive the guidance and blessing of your word. Amen. Amen. May you be with us. Amen. The thankful Amen. prayer is in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Okay. Brothers and sisters, please sit down. Let's turn to Acts 4, 12. After you get there, we'll read it in the name of the Lord. Neither, Neither is, is there salvation, salvation in, in any other, other for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as a Christian, how should we hold today's salvation? Look back to 2,000 years ago, when Jesus Christ worked in Judea. The teachers of the law and Pharisees at that time nailed the incarnated Jesus onto the cross, and so God's plan of redeeming mankind was accomplished. After Jesus resurrected and ascended to heaven, the Holy Spirit descended and the salvation the Israelites rejected began to be spread to the Gentile nations. Brothers and sisters, John 1.12 says, But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Amen. 
From the verses we can know, In the beginning, God was called God, and He had no name. The name Jehovah came into being when Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. As to Jehovah that appeared in Genesis, it was written by Moses in a later time. We all know Genesis was written after Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt. At that time, he had already known that Jehovah was God's name. Therefore, when he wrote Genesis, he wrote the name of Jehovah God into it. Through which were we transformed from Satan's Hello? offspring to God's what? children? Okay, got it. I'll be right there. Yeah. Only Several strangers Jesus are preaching in Yu Yun's preaching God. house. Brother Jing and I will have a look. Yes. Tell Pastor Chen Only later. Through Jesus yeah. can we enter the kingdom Brother of heaven. Jing. However, it doesn't prove that God was called Jehovah in the beginning. We have confirmed it from the Bible just now. Oh, that's true. Actually, God had a name from that time. Yes. Why haven't we found that? Brothers and sisters, God had no name in the beginning. Then why did God name himself Jehovah? when he asked Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt. Oh, I never thought about this question. Yeah, I've read a lot of the Bible, but never thought about it. In fact, there are mysteries in everything God does. The work of creation is just a work of producing the whole mankind. Mankind at that time was holy and wasn't corrupted by Satan. There was no need for God to do the work of salvation. So God didn't name himself. Afterward, mankind was corrupted by Satan, and so God began the management plan of saving mankind. From then on, God had a name. That is, when God called Moses to lead the Israelites out of Egypt, God told him, This is my name, and forever and this is my memorial to all generations. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, oh, I see. Hebrew 13.8 says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, and today, and forever. Amen. 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 Brothers and sisters, we must obey the teachings in the Bible and should never leave the name of Jesus. Now, some people have abandoned the name of Jesus Christ and believed in Almighty God, the Eastern Lightning preaches. They even reject and deny God's name. Can such people be saved? I feel sorry for these who rashly reject the Lord's name. May the Lord have mercy on and forgive them. Brothers and sisters, let's turn to Malachi 3.10. The Bible says, Bring you all the tithes into the storehouse, that there may be meat in my house. And prove me now herewith, said the Lord of hosts, if I will not open you the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen. As Christians who genuinely believe in the Lord, we should obey the Lord Jesus' teaching and offer up to God all the tithes we receive. If we do so, we will receive the Lord Jesus' blessing. Like the offering of the poor widow mentioned in the Bible, she offered up to God her livelihood. And she was approved by the Lord Jesus. If we offer like that, and offer a lot, when the Lord Jesus comes again, He will take us into His kingdom of heaven so that we can receive the blessing of eternal life. Whoever doesn't offer his tithe will be loathed by the Lord, abandoned by the Lord, and even more cursed by God. 
the brothers and sisters in our church should offer a lot. Then our God will open the windows of heaven and pour us out a blessing. Amen. Amen. We should offer one-tenth. If we have great faith, we can offer two-tenths. Those who have even greater faith can offer five-tenths. Yes. Many brothers and sisters in our church have received the Lord's blessing because of offering. For example, our brother Jiang has tasted sweetness from offering. Not long ago, he was in a car accident. Our Lord miraculously kept him Amen. so that he survived. Amen. Amen. Because the Lord saved him. He offered up 3,000 yuan at one time. Brothers and sisters, does our brother Jiang have faith? Yes. yes. Thank the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the Bible mentions, If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing, the words, if I will, are only mentioned once in the Bible. What does this verse tell us? If we offer with our true heart, our Lord will doubly bless us, so that our cup will run over. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, I'll ask you another question. The Old Testament records that God is named Jehovah. Then, is God's name still Jehovah in the New Testament? No. no. What's God's name? Jesus. Do you know why God's name changed to Jesus? I don't know. I don't know. That. Brothers and sisters, we all know that God is wise and almighty. When God does each stage of new work, He'll take a different name. For God's work is progressing forward all the time. I, why do I feel that what she preaches seems to be the Eastern Lightning? Yeah, sort of. In the last co-worker meeting. They say that the Lord has come back, the age has changed, and God's name has also changed. This is the Eastern Lightning. The age that God works in is different, so the content of the work is also different. In the Old Testament, God did the work of issuing the law, and He took the name Jehovah. In the New Testament, God did the redemptive work, and He took the name Jesus. In the end time, when the Lord Jesus comes again, He will do a new work, so God's name will still change. Impossible! How can Jesus' name change? Yes! Aren't you deceiving us? Right! You're deceiving us! You're preaching the Eastern Lightning! Liu Yun, we've emphasized more than once. Don't receive strangers to preach in the church. Why do you receive people of the Eastern Lightning to preach here? Sister Tang, the Lord Jesus taught us to entertain strangers, but we don't receive them, nor do we allow the brothers and sisters to go out to listen to messages. Aren't we going against the Lord's will? In recent years, we are just afraid to be deceived by the Eastern Lightning and only know to evade, but we never dare to hear their messages. Sister, the one we believe in is the Lord Jesus Christ, the only true God. Then what shall we fear? I remember that the Bible says, there is no fear in love because fear has torment. What does our fear show? Doesn't it show that we have no faith and love for the Lord? If we have faith in the Lord, why do we still fear and evade? Yeah, evading is not a solution. You. Liu Yun, it's really out of my expectation. As a leading sheep in the church, you actually contact people of the Eastern Lightning without permission. Do you know how serious it is? The Eastern Lightning is a heresy. We shouldn't have a part in their evil, much less receive them. 
Sister Tang, Brother Jing, whether it is evil or not, we can't conclude at will. The scripture says, Does our law judge any man before it hear him and know what he does? However, we've never heard their fellowship, yet we condemn the Eastern Lightning as false all the time. Is this after the Lord's will? Sister Tong, Brother Jing, today we gather here, and it is arranged by the Lord. Why don't we sit down and have a good fellowship? Then we'll know why we're right and why they're wrong. If we even don't have the courage to debate, doesn't it show that we have no faith in the Lord? The Lord knows if we have faith in Him. Sister Liu, you've enjoyed so much grace of the Lord. I never expected that you would speak such words today. You were uplifted by the church to watch over the flock, but you lead the brothers and sisters to betray the Lord. What is betraying the Lord, brother? Actually, we are following the Lamb's footsteps. The Bible says, these are they which follow the Lamb wherever He goes. Brother, sister, today we can meet here, and there is the Lord's will in it. Please take a seat. Let's seek and fellowship together. You've served the Lord for many years. All of us should be faithful and wise servants. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. We all should have a seeking heart and should be wise virgins to welcome the Lord's coming. Today, let's listen together to find out if it is God's voice. My foundation has been built on the rock of the Lord Jesus. No one can shake me. Now, I allow you to speak. After a while, you will have it. I'll make you speechless. With such little tricks, you even dare to come to my place to preach? Brother, sister, as to the issue of God's changing his name, there is a very profound mystery in it. If God didn't unlock it to us personally, none of us could understand its meaning. Sister, don't you think it's necessary for us to seek and investigate? Right. Sister Tong, Brother Jing, you are both familiar with the Bible and know a lot. Today is an opportunity. Let's give the brothers and sisters some freedom. Through our fellowship today, they can discern if it is the true way. Yes, the more we debate the truth, the more clearly we'll understand. Since we all believe in the true way, do we fear debate? Right. Sister Tong, Brother Jing, come over and take a seat. Okay. Today, I'll see how you deceive people. Come and sit. Please have a seat. You believers in the Eastern Lightning say that the Lord has come and he's called Almighty God. Brothers and sisters, is it right? No, only the Lord Jesus is our God. Right, we only believe in the Lord Jesus. The Bible clearly records, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. You don't even understand the Bible, but you come here to preach the gospel? Huh. Sister Tong is familiar with the Bible. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. See, See what they say. Say. Brothers and sisters, since we mention the Bible, let's read it. Sister, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever. These words are absolutely true, but I wonder if you remember that the Bible records, I, even I, am the Lord and beside me there is no Savior. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial to all generations. Since the Bible records that beside Jehovah there is no Savior, why do we accept Jesus as the Savior? Since the Bible records 
that the name of Jehovah lasts forever. Why do we hold on to Jesus' name? Right. Why did the name Jehovah change to Jesus? Brother, sister, the same yesterday and today and forever, which is mentioned in the verse, has its background, and it refers to one age and one stage of work. As long as an age and a stage of work God starts don't end, man has to hold on to God's name in that age, and no one can disobey. However, when God starts a new work and a new age, God's name will change accordingly. That is to say, God's name is not unchanging, but changes as God's work develops. In the age of the law, God's name was Jehovah. But when Jesus came to work, God's name changed to Jesus accordingly. This is why we hold on to Jesus' name today. Therefore, when the end time arrives, God will do a new work, and God's name will still change. God's name will still change? I've studied the Bible for many years, but I've never read any prophecy in the Bible that God will change His name in the end time. Isn't your fellowship misleading others? Yes, there's no such record in the Bible at all. Nor did Jesus ever say that He would change His name when He came again. Right, there is no prophecy in the Bible. Your fellowship is not right. Yeah, without the biblical basis, we won't believe. Yes, yes, yes we, we won't believe. believe. Almighty God, may you give me the proper words to say. Sister, actually your question is also my previous puzzlement. But through studying the Bible, I'm clear about the answer. Revelation 3.12 says, Him that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write on him the name of my God, and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem, which comes down out of heaven from my God, and I will write on him my new name. Here it is clearly prophesied that God will have a new name in the end time. Can the name still be Jesus? If it were still Jesus, how could it be a new name? Hmm. So there is a prophecy in Revelation that God will have a new name in the end time. Right. Since it's said to be a new name, it won't be Jesus. Right. Right. The Bible has long prophesied that God will have a new name in the end time. Be quiet. Does Revelation prophecy that God will have a new name? Won't God be called Jesus when he comes again? How could it be possible? Sister, God's name is not unchanging. As to this question, I can't make it clear by myself. Let's read a few passages of Almighty God's Word. All right. I'll hear what your God says. Some say that God's name does not change. Then why did the name of Jehovah change to Jesus? It had been said that Messiah would come, but why did one named Jesus come? How could God's name change? Aren't these the works God did long ago? Can God not do a newer work today? Since the work of yesterday could be changed and the work of Jehovah could be continued by Jesus, can't the work of Jesus be succeeded by another work? Since the name of Jehovah could change to Jesus, can't the name of Jesus also be changed? These are not strange things. People think so, 
only because their mind is too simple. God is God, after all. No matter how His work changes and how His name changes, His disposition and His wisdom will never change. If you think that God can only be called by the name of Jesus, your knowledge is too little. God does a new work and takes a new name in each age. How could He do the same work in different ages? How could He hold on to old things? The name Jesus was taken for the sake of the redemptive work. Could Jesus still be called by this name when He comes again in the end time? Could He still do the redemptive work? Why is it that Jehovah and Jesus were one, but they were called by different names in different ages? Isn't it because the ages in which they worked were different? Could one name represent God's all? So God has to take a different name in a different age, using His name to change the age and using His name to represent the age. For no name can fully represent God, God's self, and it can only represent God's disposition typical of the age. And it is proper as long as it can represent His work. So, God can choose any name that suits His disposition to represent a whole age. Could the one name Jesus, which means God is with us, represent all God's disposition? Could it fully express God? If anyone says that God can only be called Jesus and can never have any other name, because God cannot change His disposition, it is a blasphemy. Do you think that the one named Jesus, God is with us, can fully represent God? God can be called by many names, but among these many names, no name can sum up God's everything, and no name can fully represent God. So God has many names, but these many names cannot fully express God's disposition. Because God's disposition is so rich, simply more than men can know. One particular word, or one particular name, simply cannot represent God's all. So do you think that God's name can be fixed? God is so great and so holy. Do you not allow Him to change His name in each age? Therefore, in each age, when God does the work personally, He uses a name matching that age to sum up the work He will do, and uses the particular name of age significance to represent His disposition of that age. It is that God expresses His own disposition in human language. Almighty God's words tell us, God's name changes as God's work changes. Every time when God does a stage of new work and starts a new age, He will change His name accordingly. For God is so wise and so almighty. Therefore, every time when God starts a stage of work in a new age, He'll take a name of age significance to represent the work He does and the disposition He expresses in that age. The Bible says that God's name is ever unchanging, and it only means that God's name is ever unchanging in that age. But when the age changes, God's name will change accordingly. This is the reason why the name Jehovah changed to Jesus, which we mentioned just now. You say that God's name will change, and God will change His name in each age. But the Bible says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. How do you explain that? Right. The Bible says so. Brother, it is hard for me to answer your question. But Almighty God's Word tells us the answer. Let's read Almighty God's Word. 
Almighty God says, Some people say that God is ever unchanging. That is also right, but it means that God's disposition and God's substance are ever unchanging. When His name and work change, it does not prove that His substance changes. In other words, God is forever God, and this is ever unchanging. I'll give an illustration. A man has done many jobs in his life, and people will call him differently as his job changes. For example, when he teaches in school, others call him teacher. Later, he heals the sick, and others call him doctor. Then, he goes into business, and others call him manager or boss. But no matter how he changes his job, and no matter how others call him differently, the person who does the work won't change. Similarly, in God's work, no matter how God's work changes, and no matter how God's name changes, His substance is ever unchanging, and He is forever the unique God, God's self. If we deny God's substance, and deny that the work is done by one God, because God changes His work and His name, that is our absurdity. Right. These words are very practical. Yes. Through such fellowship, we are much more brightened within. Yeah, it is true. Never thought I'd meet my match. Their preaching is indeed very high. I can't fall into their hands today. I can't lose face before the brothers and sisters. Okay. Maybe God's name will change, and God's name Jehovah changed to Jesus as the age changed. Yet, our question is, the Bible teaches us to hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus. Now the age of the Lord Jesus hasn't passed yet, and the Bible can't be wrong. Why do you preach that God is called Almighty God? Don't go off topic. Explain this question clearly. Sister, as to your question, Almighty God's Word tells us the answer. You all know that God's incarnation is just for opening a new age. Of course, when He opens a new age, He has ended the old age at the same time. God is the beginning and the end. Since He Himself starts the work, He Himself has to end the old age. This is the evidence of defeating Satan and triumphing over the world. Every time He works personally among men, it is the beginning of a new war. If a new work has not begun, surely the old work will not end. Each time God appears, He will do a stage of great work. Such a work is different from the work done in any other age. It is beyond man's imagination and has never been experienced by any man. It is to open a new age and to end the old age. It is a stage of newer and more uplifted work to save mankind, and even more a work to lead mankind into a new age. This is the significance of God's appearing. From Almighty God's words, we can see, when God personally appears to man through incarnation and starts a new work, the old age ends accordingly. Because God is the beginning and the end, and He opens an age and ends the age. When the old age ends and a new age comes, isn't decided by man, but decided by God. For example, in the age of the law, Jehovah's work lasted for over 2,000 years. When Jesus did a new work and opened the age of the grace, the age of the law ended accordingly. From then on, only if people prayed in Jesus' name could they receive God's grace and blessing and enjoy the working of the Holy Spirit. And all those who held on to Jehovah's name fell into darkness and were bound by sin, unable to get released. Now God has already returned in the flesh, and He has done the work of judgment, 
beginning with God's family in the end time, and expressed His new word and work, all these prove that a new age has come, and the age of the grace has passed. Otherwise, why do people who hold on to Jesus' name now have no working of the Holy Spirit? Demons can't be driven out in the name of Jesus, and the sick can't be healed in the name of Jesus. All these prove that the age has changed, God's work has turned, and God's name has also changed. Even if God takes a new name in each age, what's the meaning of each name God takes? We human beings can't fathom these mysteries, but Almighty God's Word has thoroughly unlocked them. I'll read it for you. The name Jehovah is the name I took when I worked in Israel. It originally means the God of the Israelites, that is, God's chosen people, who can have mercy on man, curse man, and lead man to live, and the God who is powerful and full of wisdom. Jesus is Emmanuel. It originally means the sin offering redeeming man that is full of loving kindness and full of mercy. He is the one who did the work of the age of the grace and represents the age of the grace. And he can only represent one part of the work in the management plan. That is to say, only Jehovah is the God of the chosen people of Israel, is the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, and the God of Moses, and is also the God of all the people of Israel. So the Israelites in the present age, except for the tribe of Judah, all worship Jehovah, offer sacrifices to him on the altar, and serve him in priestly robes in the temple. What they expect is the reappearing of Jehovah. Only Jesus is the redeemer of mankind, and is the sin offering that redeemed mankind from sins. That is to say, the name Jesus came from the age of the grace, and came into being because of the redemptive work in the age of the grace. The name Jesus was taken for the purpose that people in the age of the grace could be regenerated and saved, and was a special name taken for redeeming the whole mankind. So the name Jesus represents the redemptive work and also represents the age of the grace. The name Jehovah was a special name, taken for the sake of the people of Israel under the law. In each age and in each stage of work, my name has representative meaning and is not without a basis. That is, each name represents one age. Jehovah represents the age of the law and is a respectful address by which the Israelites call the God they worship. Jesus represents the age of the grace and is the name of the God of all those who were redeemed in the age of the grace. If in the end time, people still expect that the Savior Jesus would descend and descend still in the image that he had in Judea, then the entire 6,000 year management plan would stop at the age of the redemption and could not advance any further. And the end time would never come and the age would never end. This is because Jesus the Savior is only the one who redeemed mankind and saved mankind. And I took the name Jesus only for the sake of all the sinners in the age of the grace, not for the purpose of ending the whole mankind. Yes, it sounds like God's voice to me. Yeah, I've never heard these words before. Yeah, no ordinary man can make it. I must stop them from talking. Otherwise, I will really lose face today. Brothers and sisters, through Almighty God's words, we learn that God takes a different name in each age to represent the work He does, and the disposition he expresses in that age. At the same time, God does so for man to see more clearly the change of God's work and the age. For example, the name Jehovah represents God's work and God's disposition of majesty and wrath in the age of the law. As we know, 
in the Old Testament age of the law, in order to lead the newborn mankind to live on earth, God raised up Moses to issue the law for men to keep. Therefore, men all kept the law, sanctified the name of Jehovah, and enjoyed Jehovah's keeping and blessing. Once they offended the law, they would surely be punished. Thus people under the law held on to the name of Jehovah until the end of the age of the law. In the later phase of the age of the law, men's corruption became deeper and deeper, and thus they had the danger of being put to death by the law. In order to save mankind, God was incarnated personally and did the redemptive work, and He took the name Jesus. As long as those who kept up with the work of Jesus prayed in the name of Jesus, their sins would be forgiven, and they could enjoy God's rich grace. The name Jesus means the sin-offering redeeming man that is full of loving kindness and full of mercy. The name Jesus is a special name in the age of the grace, which represents the work God does and the disposition He expresses in the age of the grace. Now is already the end time, and it is also the time to change the age. After Jesus, God opens a new age, the age of the kingdom, and carries out the work of judgment beginning with God's family. Thus, God's name changes again, and He takes the name Almighty God. The meaning of God's name... Wrong! The name Almighty God is not a new one. It is recorded in many places in the Old Testament. Although this name is ever mentioned in the Old Testament, it doesn't represent that age. It is only that those who experienced God's work at that time saw Jehovah God's deeds, power, and authority, and thus called God Almighty. However, this name didn't represent that age, because God didn't testify this name in the Old Testament, nor did He lead the Israelites of that time with this name, that is, the age of the law. We all know that God personally testifies His special name in each age. For example, in the age of the law, God personally testified the name Jehovah. In the age of the grace, God sent an angel to personally testify the name Jesus. In the end time, the name Almighty God is also personally testified by God. Then let's read. Well, even if Almighty God is God's name, I'll ask you another question. Since you say that each name God takes has its meaning, what does the name of Almighty God mean? Sister, as to your question, Almighty God has already told us the answer. Although Jehovah, Jesus, and Messiah all represent my spirit, these several names only represent the different ages in my management plan and do not represent my all. The names by which people on earth call me cannot thoroughly express all my disposition and being, and it is only that they call me by different addresses in different ages. So, when the final age, that is, the last age comes, my name will still change. I will not be called Jehovah or Jesus, much less Messiah, but the powerful, almighty God, God's self. I was once called Jehovah and was also once called Messiah by people. And people also once called me the Savior Jesus out of love and esteem for me. Today I am no longer Jehovah or Jesus whom people knew before, but the God who has returned in the end time and who will end the age and the God God self who arises in the ends of the earth, laden with all my disposition and full of authority, honor and glory. People have never contacted me, nor known me or known about my disposition. 
From the creation of the world until now, no one has ever seen me. This is the God who appears to people in the end time, and yet is hidden among them, living among them true and real, like a burning sun and like a flaming fire, full of power and full of authority. No man and no thing will not be judged in my word. Under the burning of fire, no man and no thing will not be purified. In the end, all nations will be blessed because of my word and will also be crushed because of my word, so that all people in the end time will see that I am the return of the Savior and I am the Almighty God who conquers all mankind and that all people will see that I was once man's sin offering. But in the end time I become the fire of the burning sun that burns all things, and the sun of righteousness that reveals all things. This is my work in the end time. I take this name and bear such disposition for the purpose that all people will see that I am a righteous God, a burning sun and a flaming fire, that all people will worship me, the only true God, and that all people will see my real image. I am not only the God of the Israelites, or only the Redeemer, but the God of all created beings, in the heavens and on the earth and in the seas. In fact, there are many verses prophesying God's name. We can look at Revelation 1.8. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, said the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. Then let's look at Revelation 19.6. And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thunder, saying, Alleluia, for the Lord God omnipotent reigns. Besides, there are prophecies in Revelation 4, 8 and 11, 17. From these prophecies, we can fully see that when God comes again to do his work in the end time, he is no longer called Jehovah, nor Jesus, much less Messiah, but the powerful almighty God. It's really so. Revelation has long told us God's new name. Right, yeah. Right. I've read these verses many times before. How come I didn't notice that? Yes. It's so clear here. Ah, it's so, it's so. Brothers and sisters, in fact, the new name God uses in each age is personally testified by the Holy Spirit. The age of the kingdom is no exception. Next, let's listen to the testimony of the Holy Spirit to the name Almighty God. Come to Zion with praising. God's dwelling place has appeared. The glorious holy name is praised by all peoples and is being spread. O oh, Almighty God, the head of the universe, the last Christ, is the shining sun and has risen on the majestic and grand Mount Zion in the entire universe. Almighty God, we are shouting for joy to you and we are dancing and singing. You are truly our Redeemer, the great King of the universe. You have made a group of overcomers and accomplished God's management plan. All peoples will surely stream to this mountain, and all peoples will surely bow down before the throne. You are the one and only true God. You are worthy to receive glory and honor. All the glory and praise and authority be to the throne. Almighty God is the King of life in the universe. He has been seated on the glorious throne, judging the world, ruling over all things, and governing all nations. All peoples are bowing down to Him and praying to Him, drawing near to Him and associating with Him. These words are so powerful, it seems that the mystery has been unlocked. Yeah, only God can speak such words. Men can never speak them. Yeah. These words have authority. This is the testimony of the Holy Spirit and is Almighty God's personal utterance. Today, Almighty God comes to work and unlocks all the mysteries. Why do I feel that these are indeed God's words? Yeah, yes, yes. 
I've never heard such words. Enough, enough! Brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus is our everlasting Savior. Only by holding on to Jesus' name can we enter the kingdom of heaven. You have no discernment, so you're easily deceived. Don't listen to their nonsense! Yeah, Sister Tong has believed in God for many years. She's mature in life and knows much about the Bible. We can believe her. I think what they preach is good. Yeah. Yeah, I believed in the Lord for such a long time, but it's my first yeah, time to hear yeah, such yes. high messages. I still think Sister Tong is right. It won't be wrong to trust Sister Tong. Right, precisely. Sister Tong, Brother Jing, what these sisters preach today is reasonable. Everyone can sense it. Although it doesn't accord with our notions, we are certain that these messages are from the Holy Spirit. Otherwise, no one can tell such deep mysteries just by man's mind. Do you think so? Therefore, we should investigate carefully with a seeking heart. I believe that the Lord will inspire us and let us understand. Liu Yun, shut up! As a preacher, you not only don't guard the gate of the church well, but instead bring heresy preachers into the church to deceive believers. You've severely betrayed the Lord. Sister Tong, don't be irritated. Take it easy. Sister, actually you also know the present condition of the church. Brothers and sisters are generally thirsty in spirit and cold in faith. Many of them have been carried away by social trends, and fewer and fewer attend meetings. We know that you've been anxious for this. As a servant of the Lord, shouldn't we go out to find water for the flock when the church is desolate and waterless? I remember that Amos 4, 6 through 7 says, And I also have given you cleanness of teeth in all your cities, and want of bread in all your places. Yet have you not returned to me, said the Lord. And also I have withheld the rain from you, when there were yet three months to the harvest, and I caused it to rain on one city, and caused it not to rain on another city. One piece was rained on, and the piece whereupon it rained not withered. Jehovah has clearly told us that there is God's will in the desolation of the church. God wants us to walk out of the desolate church and go to the church which has reigned to be satisfied. So, Sister Tong, we should seek. Yes, Sister Liu is right. Isn't this true? Yeah, I want to hear more. Hmm, hear more and seek it's more. Really yeah, Listen true. more. Liu Yun, I think that you've been completely deceived by the Eastern Lightning. If you don't repent right away, you'll regret it. Brothers and sisters, if you don't listen to us, It'll be too late when you are deceived. Go home quickly. Okay, go, go. Brother, since we want to investigate the true way, we should calm down and seek patiently. I believe that God will lead us. Brothers and sisters, I said this for your good. If you insist on listening, all of you will be expelled by the church. When you are cast away by the Lord and are punished, don't blame me for not telling you. Brothers and sisters, it is not terrible for us to be cast away by men. If we are cast away by God and can't keep up with God's footsteps, our outcome will be falling into the lake of fire and sulfur and receiving the everlasting punishment, and we won't receive God's promise and blessing. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, Revelation 21.8 says, But the fearful shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone. In the end time, we should learn to discern. Almighty God's words say, God's work is advancing with mighty force like surging waves. No one can hold him back, and no one can stop his steps. Only those who listen to his word attentively and seek and thirst after him can follow his footsteps and receive his promises. Except for them, all will suffer overwhelming disasters and deserved punishments. Brothers and sisters, God's will is for all men to be saved and no one to perish. Today, we're confronted with the choice of life and death. Brothers and sisters, we must treat it cautiously and be responsible for our own lives. 
Yeah, what they said sounds reasonable. We'd better listen. Good. Watch out for yourselves. Just wait to fall into the lake of fire and sulfur. Wait and see! You inform Qian Liang and Brother Qian. I'll seal off the church. Okay. Go. Brothers and sisters, as to the viewpoint that only those who hold on to the name of Jesus can enter the kingdom of heaven, what do you think of it? At that time, Jesus' disciples left Jehovah's work and magnified the name of Jesus. Did they receive God's salvation or lose God's salvation? They received God's salvation. They were the ones who obeyed God's words. Yeah. Yeah. Today, in the end time, God does a new work and takes a new name. So we leave the name of Jesus and accept the name of Almighty God. Are we betraying God or keeping up with God's work? Keep up with God's work. Yeah. 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 Your answer is correct. When God starts a new work, man can only be saved by keeping up with the pace of God's work. This is true. Brothers and sisters, from Almighty God's words, we can see that the name Almighty God has to do with the work He will do and the disposition He will express in the end time. Almighty God says, the work God does through being incarnated this time is to express His disposition, mainly through chastisement and judgment. On this basis, He brings more truths to men and tells more practices to men so as to achieve His purpose of conquering men and saving men from their corrupt disposition. This is the inside truth of the work God does in the age of the kingdom. In the end time, God does the work of judging and chastising corrupt mankind, dividing men into their kinds, and ending the age. Although we have been redeemed by Jesus, and our sins have been forgiven, we can't deny that we haven't broken away from sins completely. We are still very arrogant, selfish, greedy, crafty, and evil in disposition, and we live in the vicious cycle of committing sins in the day and confessing them at night, hoping to be saved by grace. So, in order to save us thoroughly, God expresses the word and does a new work of judging, chastising, conquering, and purifying men and the end time with the disposition of righteousness, majesty, and intolerance of offense, bringing us a brand new age, the age of yes. the kingdom. Yes. 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 In the stage of work God does in the end time, God doesn't perform signs, but He does everything and judges men's sins and chastises men's disobedience and unrighteousness with the word, so that men can be thoroughly purified and perfected. From this, we see that God is so almighty and so wise. He is indeed the Almighty and is God God's self who created all things and rules over everything. So all men will fall down before him and worship him, and God will completely end the work of warring against Satan that has lasted for 6,000 years with the name Almighty God. I've never heard these mysteries. I think this voice is from the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes. The work of judgment and chastisement God does in the end time is the work of dividing men into their kinds. This fulfills the prophecy of 1 Peter 4.17. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and also fulfills such prophecies as discerning between sheep and goats, between wheat and tares, and between good servants and evil servants. These are the works God will do in the end time. Let's read some other passages of God's Word, and we will understand. Sister, read it, please. Okay. Page 1449. Christ does the work of judgment with the truth. The first paragraph. The end time work is a work to divide men into their kinds and a work to end God's management plan because the time is near and God's day has come. God brings into his own age all those who enter into his kingdom. That is, all those who are faithful to him to the end. 
But before God's own age comes, the work God wants to do is not to inspect men's conduct or to ask about their life, but to judge their disobedience, because God wants to purify all those who come before His throne. All those who have followed God's footsteps until today are the ones who come before God's throne. Since this is so, everyone who accepts God's final work is one God purifies. That is to say, everyone who accepts God's final work is one God judges. In the past, it was said that judgment would begin with the family of God. The judgment in this word is the judgment God does today on those who come before God's throne in the end time. Only through chastisement and judgment can the outcomes of all things be revealed. Only in chastisement and judgment will men show their true self. The evil will return to the evil, and the good will return to the good and all men will be after their kinds. God will reveal the outcomes of all things through chastisement and judgment, so that He can punish the evil and reward the good, and all men will become subject under His authority. All these works can only be accomplished through the righteous chastisement and judgment. Because men have been corrupted to the utmost, and their disobedience is too grievous. Only God's righteous disposition revealed in the end time, which is mainly chastisement and judgment, can thoroughly transform men and make them complete and can expose evil so that all the unrighteous men can be severely punished. So, such disposition has the age significance. God reveals and makes known His disposition for the sake of the work in each new age. And He does not reveal His disposition meaninglessly and aimlessly. If in the end time when He reveals men's outcomes, He still loved men by bestowing endless mercy and loving kindness to them, and still treated them with love, not with righteous judgment, but with tolerance patience, and forgiveness, and He still forgave them and did not do any righteous judgment on them, no matter what serious sins they have committed, then when could the entire management be concluded? With such disposition, when could He bring men into mankind's proper destination? This is like a judge who always loves people, he is a soft-hearted and loving judge. He loves anyone regardless of what crime he has committed and loves and tolerates any kind of person. Then when can he decide a case rightly? In the end time, only righteous judgment can divide mankind into their kinds and can bring men into a newer state. Thus. God ends the entire age with His righteous disposition of judgment and chastisement. Hmm, these words touch my heart. Yes, yes, yes. 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 God's words clearly tell us that what God does in the end time is mainly the work of dividing men into their kinds and is also the work of judging and chastising men with the word. God judges men's sins and chastises men's disobedience and unrighteousness so as to transform men thoroughly and perfect men. All those who accept and obey God's end-time work are ones God will judge and ones God will purify. Only God's righteous judgment can save and perfect men and bring men into a newer state. The kindly and merciful Savior Jesus only forgave men's sins and didn't do the work of purifying and transforming men, much less divide men into their kinds. So, only if men accept Almighty God's work of judging and chastising with the Word and honor Almighty God's name as great can they receive God's full salvation. 
If we hold on to the name of the Lord Jesus and don't accept Almighty God's name, we can't gain the truth Almighty God bestows to man and God's end-time salvation. Yeah, after hearing their fellowship, I understand something. These words are very clear. I want to make a good investigation. Otherwise, it will be too late to repent if I miss the true God's work. These words are not simple. We should read them carefully. Yes, after hearing her fellowship, I feel clearer in my heart. Sister, can you give me a book? I also want to investigate the true way. Okay. Two. Me, too. Yeah. Two. Me, too. Two. Yeah. Me too. Me too. Me too. Brothers and sisters, as long as you truly seek, each of you can have one copy. Okay. 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 Thank God. Brothers and sisters, today we can return to the family of Almighty God, and it is God's grace and mercy. Let's pray. Okay. 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 Let's offer up all our thanks and praises in our heart to God. Okay. 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 O oh, Almighty God, your great power and great love bring so many brothers and sisters before you. This is your wonderful deed. Amen. Today, I truly see that your work is done by you yourself. I also see that no one can hinder the pace of your work. Amen. O oh, God, when your gospel is spread, we are happy and joyful within because you are glorified in us. When we are insulted before others and when your work and your name are condemned, you endure humiliations with us. Amen. For you to gain greater glory, we are willing to spare no effort to cooperate with you and bring those brothers and sisters who genuinely thirst for the truth before you. Amen. Amen. All the glory be to you, the only true Almighty God. Amen. 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 Pastor Xian. Brother, you're here. Hi. Ah. It's bad. Liu Yun and dozens of believers in their church accepted the Eastern Lightning. What? Huh? Liu Yun is really deceived by the Eastern Lightning. We must go to Liu Yun immediately. No rush. Go get Li Wei, Sister Gu, and others. We'll go to Liu Yun's. Go get some other brothers and sisters to drag back those dragged away house to house. Okay. Zhang Ming. She ran around doing evil and preaching heresy. This time, we must punish her severely. Liu Yun. She actually betrayed the Lord Jesus' teaching and dragged the brothers and sisters into the heresy. She won't have a good end. How is the watering of the new believers going? Quite good. Not bad. The brothers and sisters are also willing to bring their relatives and friends to listen. Hmm. Any problem? Yes. Oh, let me open the door first. Who is it? Hey, Brother Lee. Out of the ah! way. What are you doing? You traitor. We'll settle accounts with you later. It's her. You're Jingming. Yes? What are you doing? You. 
Want to steal my sheep? Dream on! How dare you steal our sheep? You're too shameless. Today you have to give account and get back the brothers and sisters one by one. Let go! This time, we've caught you. Today, we will send you to the Public Security Bureau. Rotten hell. Chen Liang, do you have any Christian likeness? Christian likeness? Cut the crap! Hey! Cousin, take them away! Let me get, get her! No, she's... They've gone, but they go to the brothers and sisters house by house. What should we do? Don't worry, we must trust in God. Let's go to fellowship with the brothers and sisters one by one. God is almighty. We must believe that nothing is difficult if we rely on God. Hmm. Okay. I heard that you accepted the Eastern Lightning. Why are you so disobedient? We've said many times that they believe in a cult. Once you listen, you'll be deceived. How come you're disobedient? I think their teaching is very good. Yeah. What's good? It is because your life is too little. You know nothing. Our pastor Xi'an didn't accept it. He's believed in the Lord for decades. Doesn't he have discernment? I advise you never to believe. If you believe, your family will suffer disasters in the future. Although Chen Liang and Hao Qian disturbed and resisted frenziedly, no one could hinder the working of the Holy Spirit and the spreading of God's end-time gospel. Under the leading of the Holy Spirit, Jiang Ming and the brothers and sisters cooperated with one mind. Through their fellowshipping about the truth continually, all the brothers and sisters who had accepted the gospel not only weren't influenced by the religious pastor, but on the contrary, they had become more certain about God's end time work. Through these meetings, I feel that now I understand many questions I didn't understand before. Yes, so do I. After I read Almighty God's Word, I understand the scriptures that I didn't understand before. It is true. Almighty God's Word has unlocked the mysteries in the Bible. Yes, only God can unlock His mysteries. If God doesn't come to unlock them, no matter how man studies them, it is in vain. Brothers and sisters, are you influenced by Pastor Chin's deeds? No. no. Before, I felt that these pastors loved the Lord. Now I've seen clearly that they are real evil servants. They themselves don't accept the true way and even don't allow us to accept it. They've gone too far. Yes, they aren't believers in the Lord. We should reject them. Yes, we should reject him. Thank God. God really has all matters and things work for those that love him. God's wisdom is forever based on Satan's scheme. Through their resistance and manifestation, we've had discernment. Brothers and sisters, do you have any other problems? We'll fellowship together. Hmm, okay. Let's fellowship about God's word. Okay, let's fellowship God's word. All the brothers and sisters in our church were dragged away by those from the Eastern Lightning. No matter how I tried to persuade them, they didn't listen to me. The believers in the church Liu Yin is in charge of also accepted the Eastern Lightning. They all say that you're a false shepherd. What should we do about it? Brothers and sisters, let's sing a song together, okay? Okay. Good. Okay. Let's turn to the hymn 515. Okay. The thing God will accomplish cannot be hindered by any force. Amen. Amen.
前做他的工作。他做工的第一站是在独裁统治者的几大城，无神论的建国。Director, we find that people of the Eastern Lightning are dragging believers away from our church, and they are rampant oh. recently. Mm. We have tracked them for a long time. Mm -hmm. We do so to protect our sheep. <laughs> mm. Director, there's one called Jiang Ming. She's an activist. Mm. We know her routine. Yeah. Director, how should we deal with this issue? <laughs> now the government is cracking down on the Church of Almighty God. You're cooperating with the government's work in doing so. We'll support you. Oh. I'll tell this issue to the police station. Okay. Sister Gu, what a coincidence. Ah, what are you doing? I'll bring you to see the brothers and sisters in the church. I have something else to do today. Maybe some other time, okay? You want to escape? You can't run! Come here, Brother Jiang! What do you want to do, Sister Gu? You are Jiang Ming! Ah, I just beat her! Preach. Beat her! How dare you preach! It's my right How to preach dare the you gospel! Preach. Ah, shut up! Why are How you dare you beat her hard? How dare you breach? What are you doing? Conform to shut, the Lord's teaching. Shut your mouth. Beat her hard. Conform you to beat her hard. Ah, just beat you. Beat you. I'll beat you to death. I'll beat you to death. Beat her hard. How dare you breach? How dare you breach? Hey, what is she doing? No. Don't do that. Enough. Ah. What's happening? Hey, don't beat her. What's going on? It's not very Why nice. I just beat you today. You should stop him. Huh? That's you dare come to preach again? Hey, that's huh? hey, you dare come to preach again? That's enough. Hey, ah, come and look, everybody. Good. This woman is a shameless bitch. She has I cheek guess. enough. What she preaches is a she, cult. She, she She's a cheat. Why do you call me a cheat? You're a cheat. I'm merely a gospel preacher. That's enough. She's bleeding. Hey, you don't know? What she preaches is a cult. She okay? She's a cheat. Hello, police station. Yes. I've caught the woman who preaches Almighty God at the bus stop. Right. She's bleeding. Well, come. Yes. No, this isn't right. Keep your fucking nose out of this. If you poke your nose, I'll beat you too. Move away. Today I'll oh bring God. you to a good place. Hey, go. Where are you guys taking? Let go, go. of me. What I'll are you beat doing? you to death. Go. Go. Let go. Why are you beating Go. me? Go! Where are you taking me? I'll send you me? to prison! You rotten prison! Go! What are you doing? Go. She's the one! Who Why arrest the cult? me? Hold still! Let go of me! Why do you arrest Go. me? Go! Go! Let go! Go! Let go! Uh. Hey, wait a minute! To drag my people. How dare you come to how drag can you my beat people? Me at will? Uh, how uh, dare you come to drag my people? How can you beat me willfully? Uh, I'll beat you to death. Do you have any I'll beat you to like death. This? I'll beat you to death, uh, shameless sister. bitch. Sister, I'll beat how you to you death, beat me shameless willfully? bitch. Are how you dare you Christian? come to drag my people? Uh, 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 how dare you come to drag my uh, people? I'll beat you to death. I'll beat you to death, shameless bitch. Uh, I'll beat sister, you to death. How can you beat I'll me beat you to death. Do you have any Christian like this? I'll beat you. Just, uh, uh, I'll beat you to death, shameless bitch. I'll beat you to death. It's coming, it's coming. The van's coming. Come and look, 
everybody. It's this woman. Isn't she Sister Chen's niece? Yes. Yes, it's her. Her aunt has drawn a line with her. Beat her! Get her! Beat her to death! Beat her! Get her! Get her! Don't let her! Beat her hard! She deserves it! Beat her to death! Beat her to death! Beat her! Go on! Harder! Beat her to death! Harder! Beat her to death! Get up! You! Satan the devil Never let her off. deceive people. Right. Post the pictures on the internet. Let all people see this fucking woman who believes in the Eastern Lightning. Uh, uh, get away. Uh, 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 ah, well, well. Go back, all of you. If something happens to her, we can't give an account. No. She believes in the no, Oh, you can't let her off? Her We're severely. not going anywhere. Yeah. You won't see how you deal with her. We're not going to leave. We'll see how we deal with her. We want to see the results. We want to see the results. We want right. the results. Right. Right. We have to see what the result is. We're not going. No, we won't go. No, we won't go. We're staying We right won't go. Yeah. Never let this woman off. Right. Never right. Let her off. Right. We have to see what the result <laughs> it, right? is. Never let this woman off. Right. We have to see what the result is. Yeah. We won't go. Brother, what happened to Sister Gu? She became insane. She cries one moment and laughs another. The doctor said it's mental syndrome. What should I do? Brother, <laughs> the Lord Jesus wants to build up your faith through this matter. <laughs> but I don't have any faith. <laughs> hmm. The scripture says, help you my unbelief. Let's pray for Sister Gu. Okay. Come, kneel down. Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith, we thank and praise you. Amen. We thank you for guiding us to this house. Amen. O oh Lord, O oh Lord Jesus, for the sake of your name, bind the deeds of Satan, the devil, and Sister Gu. Amen. May the Lord fill this room with your Holy Spirit. May the Lord send 12 legions of angels to encamp in this room. Amen. O oh Lord Jesus, in your name, go away, Satan. Amen. May you keep and lead us to overcome these deeds of Satan, O oh Lord. Bind the disturbance and deception of these mid-air evil spirits. This thankful prayer is in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be afraid. Brother, how long has she been like this? She's been like this since you came back from the police station. She cries one moment and laughs another. And she runs here and there and no one can stop her. Really troublesome. I told her many times not to meddle in others' business, but she didn't listen. This is retribution. Retribution. Sister Goo. Retribution. Sister Goo. Hey! Go home! Stop! Stop! Come back! Go home! Stop running! Let's go home! Don't make a fool of yourself outside! Go home! Go home! Right now! Go 
Go home. What's going Don't on? Don't make a fool of yourself here. Here. Go home. Go home. Don't. I. Don't make a fool of yourself. This is retribution. Let's go home. She received retribution. Don't make a fool of yourself. Don't make a fool of yourself. And report her to the police station. Go home. Don't make a fool of yourself. Let's go home. I make a fool of yourself. Let's go home. Go home. Look, you fell down. Let's go home. Don't. I. I saw that Sister Gu is indeed cursed by God. She dared to give false testimony to frame up the brothers and sisters of the Church of Almighty God. And she put Sister Jiang in prison. This is truly yeah. retribution. Yeah. yeah. He who resists yeah. God yeah. will surely be punished by God. Yeah. At that time, when my cousin preached the gospel to Sister Gu and me, the brothers and sisters were very kind to us. No matter what notions we had, the brothers and sisters fellowshiped with us by love. However, Sister Gu openly gave false testimony and fabricated rumors. This is directly offending God's disposition. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The Lord yeah. Jesus said, Why I say to you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven to men, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven to men. And whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man, it shall be forgiven him. But whoever speaks against the Holy Ghost, it shall not be forgiven him, neither in this world, neither in the world to come. Brothers and sisters, Almighty God's Word also mm. says about okay. this clearly. Let's read a passage of Almighty God's Word. Okay. Open the book, please. Page 1480. Sister, read the last paragraph, please. Okay. This is because... This Christ is originally the expression of the Holy Spirit, the expression of God, and the one to whom God's work on earth is committed. So, I say that if you cannot accept all that the end-time Christ does, you are one who blasphemes the Holy Spirit. It is self-evident to everyone what retribution a person who blasphemes the Holy Spirit deserves. I still want to tell you, if you resist the end-time Christ and reject the end-time Christ, no one else can bear the consequences for you. And thereafter, you will never again have the opportunity to receive God's approval. Even when you want to retrieve, you cannot see God's face again, because the one you have resisted is not a man, and the one you have rejected is not a small man, but Christ. Are you aware of such consequences? What you have done is not making a small mistake, but committing a mortal sin. So I advise everyone not to act wildly or speak loosely before the truth, because only the truth can bring you life, and apart from it, nothing can cause you to be resurrected and see God's face again. Brothers and sisters, from God's words we can see that God's disposition is righteous and doesn't tolerate any offense. So, we should be godly and humble before God, and shouldn't judge God or God's work at will. Those who blaspheme God and resist the end-time Christ will be cursed in this world and the world to come. Yeah. So, when we don't understand, we should seek and wait patiently, and we shouldn't judge God or God's work at will, otherwise the consequence will be unimaginable. Yes. 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 In over one year's prison life of complete darkness, when Jiang Ming thought of the persecution she suffered from the religious world, she couldn't calm down. She had never expected that those religious leaders would collude with the CCP government to resist God's work and arrest and afflict God's chosen people. She saw that though the religious world believes in God, it together with the CCP belongs to Satan's camp. No wonder 
Almighty God says, How many seek the truth and follow justice, run amok in the world by relying on their pig-dog parents, which means that the officials in the religious world who persecute God rebel against the true God and the truth by relying on the full support of the state, being extremely ferocious, as if the ghosts of the Jewish Pharisees have moved back to the country of the great red dragon in the wake of God, back to their lair, and have begun the work of persecution another time, continuing their work of thousands of years. This herd of scum will eventually perish on earth. Pastor Xian, another 40 to 50 brothers and sisters have been dragged away by the Eastern Lightning. The brothers and sisters were worried about you all the time. Yes. We were all worried about you a lot. Yes. Yes, Jiang Ming. We were all worried about you a lot. We prayed for you and asked God to lead you and keep your faith. Thank God. God is faithful and hears man's prayer. Although I suffered a little in prison, God's love accompanied me all along. When I was weak, I would pray to God, and God's word would inspire and guide me, and give me faith and strength, helping me overcome Satan's temptations one after another. Thank I've God. I've truly seen God's love. Yes. I really thank God. Thank God. Thank, thank God. God. All the glory be to God. Yes. No matter how the religious leaders resist and how the great red dragon persecutes, we'll spread God's gospel work. Right. Right. Yeah, this persecution and tribulation is a rare life experience. It shows us that God is caring for and keeping us every moment, and He's guiding us to overcome all the sieges and temptations from Satan. Yes. I yes. really thank God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let's do our best to equip ourselves with the truth and spend our whole being to testify God's name and repay God's love for us. Thank God. Amen. Amen. After getting out of prison, Jiang Ming again joined the ranks of preachers of the Kingdom Gospel. Although the CCP and the religious world both condemn and persecute the Church of Almighty God, the spreading of Almighty God's Kingdom Gospel has reached an unprecedented grand state. The Churches of Almighty God are established in every province and region in China. Millions of people have come under the name of Almighty God. All those who have accepted Almighty God's work are enjoying the shepherding of God's word and experiencing God's work of salvation. The name of Almighty God has spread throughout the mainland China. <laughs>